the pictures to go with the high school reunion special in our November issue. The story is about, it's like a survival guide for what to do, what to expect when you go back for your 10 year, 15 year, 20 year high school reunion. The high school reunion story came up because various people here had been invited to or just gone to high school reunions and we realized it's a source of tension for a lot of, uh, a lot of people. I went to my five year high school reunion right after graduation. And that was all. That was the only one I've been to. I've had high school reunions and I've been invited to them, but I've never gone because I always feel like the people who I'm friends with from high school who I want to keep in touch with are the people who I do keep in touch with. And we meet up, I guess we have our own mini reunions. Yes, I have been to a high school reunion. I mean, there were definitely, you know, a couple surprises. The person who came back, you know, when was pregnant or has a child or someone getting married. I think that Roxanne was the perfect choice. There really was no other choice. And when I heard she was doing it, I was I was like, oh, please send me on that shoot. If you're really having fun, it looks it, and then uh, it comes across on the page, and it gives it energy, and if it has energy, it looks good in my book. Since we were doing a reunion, uh, we tried to maybe play up a few characters, and uh, to, together with the hair and the clothing and everything, the setting. We made a point of not trying to capture the looks of 1998, which was much bigger, scrunchy hair sprayed hair than today. So the looks, we've just brought them down, made them more modern. You know, we are working with current clothes, current collections. Picking the clothes for this was sort of complicated because, you know, we are saying it's a class of 98. I myself was a class of like 96 or 97. It's not like Peggy Sue got married where she like shows up in like the remake of her prom dress and she's got like crown and all that stuff. So the stuff I picked, I had two things in mind. One was like, what's so chic and elegant right now, shape wise? And the other was, oh god, you know, the school colors are red and gold. So what's not going to like look atrocious in the gym with all the red and the gold? My advice for anybody going to their high school reunion, don't be afraid to buy the extra fabulous dress and update your look and walk in there owning the place. When you go to your high school reunion, have fun. We have a very attitudinal, long package of, of little essays and tips and ideas about how to survive your high school reunion, and not really how to survive it only, but how to thrive at your high school reunion. It was really fun to see you know, my close friends that I've lost touch with at my high school reunion, and also, of course, old boyfriends. <laughs> it's funny because the feelings that I have from 10 years ago or 15 years ago, I still kind of feel them. Like, oh, I don't like her. But what am I talking about? I haven't seen her in 10 years. How can I really have an emotion, negative or positive? But somehow those uh, feelings come right back. Usually the men get bald and chubby, and the women get more attractive, thinner, and quite beautiful. The amazing thing is like you meet people, you see people who you expected to, you know, the class valedictorian, you know, had had her, was on her third kid and wasn't working, or, you know, the kid who was a total burnout is running some lobbying company in D.C and you're just like, mm -hmm. I guess if I were to go to a high school reunion, I would make sure that I was looking my best because obviously you want to represent what you've done with your life for the past 10, 15, however many years it's been. At your reunion, you're just going to want to look the best that you've ever looked. So um, that might require getting hair and makeup done beforehand, really planning your outfit, thinking about what you're going to wear. I'd wear something solid color, um, something that's not going to be too trendy. I think what I would wear, I would wear something very New York uh, because I'm from San Diego and I'd want to wear something very sort of chic and sophisticated. <laughs> At my high school reunions, both of them, I wore a classic black. To be honest, I think I would just dress casually. I think it's a great idea to just dress as yourself. You shouldn't have to really go and impress people. You should just present yourself. So. I'd stay basic, I guess, fashion-wise. You don't want to be the fashion victim at the high school reunion. <laughs> you shouldn't have to rely upon these things to feel better, but if it's going to give you that extra confidence when you put on that outfit and face these people that you haven't seen in 5, 10, 15 years, if that's going to be the secret, then you know, go for it and do it. I think for a lot of people, it brings closure to some issues that they've not quite faced down. And I always hear from people who've been to them that they're actually very therapeutic. Yves Saint Laurent just passed away recently and he was a very influential designer. He definitely created a lot of iconic looks so we decided to do a tribute to him and basically 
shoot some of his pieces, but also pieces that other designers had done that were inspired by him.